This is the D18 Authentic 1937. Hey, it's Spoon Phillips out here at the Martin Museum in Nazareth, Pennsylvania for Maury's Music in Coaldale, Pennsylvania. And I have come out to check out this spectacular new Martin guitar. This is the D18 Authentic 1937. Some of you may know that the D18 Authentic 1939 was the first D18 in the Authentic series. Um, and it is quite a bit different than this guitar in several respects. But this D18 is the spitting image of a single D18 that was made in 1937 that was owned for a time by James Taylor. And it's now owned by the Martin Museum. And like they do with the other authentics, they had it x-rayed, they put it through a CAT scan, they wanted to get the exact position and size and shaping of the bracing of that guitar and the bridge plate of that guitar. And that's what we get here. Genuine mahogany back and sides in a new dreadnought shape. It's so new, it's old. This is a much more historically accurate shape of a 1937 dreadnought. So, and I'll tell you right now, you can instantly tell that if you're familiar with modern dreadnoughts. The moment you put it in your hand, up here in the upper bout is just a little quicker roll off of this angle. And up here where it's coming out of the waist, it's also quicker, so it's a little fatter right here. It's a little more space here, a little less space here, a little sleeker here. And I'll tell you, it is an absolute down to the micrometer exact silhouette of a 1937 D18. So, and maybe it's got the same, you know, cubic space inside the sound chamber, but physically it's not exactly the same. So it's, uh, it would be debatable as whether they're going to sound the same or not. One thing that's going to keep this from sounding like the other D8, uh, D18 Authentic is this is a 1937 based guitar, so it has forward shifted scallop bracing. The 1939 version had rearward shifted scallop bracing, very different sound. Also, this has a one and three quarter inch width nut, the other one had a one and 11 16 inch nut. And this also has a classic 1937 profile. This is a, a little more, uh, round and bulbous up here than the D28 because they're both are based on specific guitars and that D28 is just a little more like a modern modified V in terms of the feel of the V. This is a little rounder, little uh, rounded off V. Also no volute down here, a volute as they say at the back of the neck. So very like a vintage guitar there is no V here. So it's not a V neck all the way down. There's like no V here whatsoever. You start to feel it a little bit, and it's really not until you get up here that the V becomes obvious. But it's still not as big as a, as a 35 and 36. Some of those dreadnoughts have really massive baseball bat necks. This is heading up there, but it's not. I've definitely played bigger vintage necks. And frankly, just uh, five minutes ago, I was playing the actual 1937. This is probably even closer than the D28 shaping to that original 1937 neck. It's super close. Vintage tone system, Adirondack spruce top, of course. Vintage tone system, forward shifted scallop bracing, of course. Tucked bracing. The X brace has notches in it and fits down over top of the bridge plate. So it, they actually contact each other. The ends of the struts of the X brace tuck into the kerfing. This is what they did up until the 1940s, mid 1940s. It helps the energy transfer better from the bracing into the soundboard, into the sides, into the back and back and so forth. It is one of the key reasons Vintage Martin sound like the way they do. So the bridge is a little narrower here than modern bridges in, uh, in terms of the depth. It's got a thinner fretboard in terms of the depth. Again, these uh, promote more vibration, more energy transference, as does the hot hide glue construction that sinks deeper into the wood than the 
um, than the white, uh, artificial white glues. And so again, energy transference from one busy piece of wood to the other. It's all about getting as much energy transferred and turned into sound waves as possible. It is the vintage Martin way of doing things. Of course, big traditional dovetail neck joint. Um, this thing is a magnificent mahogany guitar. Big, robust, big full bass. Doesn't have the complex overtones you get from Rosewood, but it's still plenty of very pretty harmonics. Um, and again, the new dreadnought shape, much more historically accurate to a 1937 dreadnought. The D18, authentic, 1937, new for 2022.